Hi guys, Akomodo Crypto here. And here we have our Bitcoin chart, weekly chart, Bitstamp. So we are about to, clo to close the week, the, the weekly chart. We are gonna close actually tomorrow, but uh, what we can see here is a hammer. And here was a spinning top, and then we have a hammer. I, I can't help but think that, um, of course, as I have been saying here, this is uh, this decreasing in vo it has been decreasing in volume, so it, this this implies that we would see some kind of a, a significant movement, okay, a big tide, as I as I have written here, okay, we're we're gonna see some kind of a, 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 a big movement. I think, uh, as I have been calling, that we're gonna. Uh, see a movement to the upside to test this 200 uh, exponential moving average okay and when we have a hammer like this at the bottom of the of a movement uh, at the bottom of a, a, a trend like this it can imply that we are gonna go and try to test again the 200 standard moving average or that we are gonna break it but I don't I don't see a movement to the downside now but I might be wrong okay guys so I am um, I'm paying attention at other things now uh, for in the, on the daily chart we are 400 413 days in this correction I have been I have seen a lot of fuzz about about it oh a lot of, some analysts are calling oh this is the 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 longest bear market in crypto of course it is because we have seen the longest bull market in crypto okay and it's proportional to the bear, to the bull market we are seeing this bear market now it's it's not a, a big deal okay and we have plenty of of time to to stay in this bear market okay uh, bear markets can go sideways for a long time. It's it's not uh, it's not odd. It's not weird, okay. But uh, I think that in the best, um, it's all in it's in our best interest. You, you can see here in the daily chart as well the, the decreasing volume. It's pretty clear, right? When we see this thing here happening, it's when we we can anticipate some kind of big movement like we had here remember if you have been watching my videos I I called this right the, this was a, a clear decreasing volume then we had this huge movement to the downside okay an A B C D E and then we broke to the downside and now we are forming this wedge pattern here this falling edge pattern which is an indicative that we are gonna test higher prices okay is this uh, a certainty no it's a probability it's likely that we're gonna test a high target here this which I would call wave C and then we would go to the test uh, new lows here okay new lows we, we might test the 8087 to here 2000 or perhaps even lower 1000 range 1000 and uh, 1500 okay so um and um this is the one hour chart okay i have changed a little bit if you if you have watched my previous video i have uh, i was counting on a breakout sooner than uh, than i uh, than the market is telling me here now i think that we have another leg down okay we are we can see a, a, a ending diagonal here I'm gonna ignore this week here um, if we just turn on the the magnet here and uh, this is a just I'm gonna ignore the weeks just for a uh, for this in this case here but we can see the ending diagonal here right pretty clear right an Indian diagonal one, two. This would be the third, four, and five here. Okay, then it would. We might actually, if we are seeing an Indian diagonal, it would be like this. The one would be here. 
because we would have this overlapping uh, the wave four would overlap the wave one uh, territory and then we would have the two the third the fourth and then the fifth wave here we see that this this pattern here of the 50 retracements okay from the top to the bottom here from the top here to the bottom here this one from the top here to the bottom okay here and then we see that the 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 the, the movement is becoming less and less significant okay it's pretty clear like it's it's a pattern it's a fractal like pattern that is a it's dim, the movement is becoming smaller then it's pointing to a lower target here perhaps uh 3200 or even deeper perhaps this target here okay uh 3100 again and then we have the stop loss here for a, a, a which is not and we might go deeper okay that's the thing it's a stop loss just for my just for my personal use okay because if it goes deeper here i i won't i wouldn't uh, take this this trade uh, this long here i i think it's it's we are gonna see a a huge selling pressure okay so based upon this this pattern here i think that we are gonna see some kind of a try to break and get to this 50 percent and then we're gonna go down okay uh why not right why not um the one might be here as well right because actually we see this is a one two one two then this even if we are only if we allow for this to be a flat for our two but this is just a matter of a really small adjustments but i see another leg up before we go down okay and this is clear for other coins as well Okay, we wouldn't have an A, B, and a C here. Okay. And if we get our extension tool from this third wave here to the top here, this is what we see, right? We see what? We see this confluence here. The 50% here, the wave C here, 100, perhaps we might go higher. Okay, and then, of course, we would need to let me just change it a bit to account for the possible target okay counting the weeks okay in this case i am uh, instead of using the candles i'm using the weeks then we would have another leg here touching and then i would need to do the same here yes we would have something like this okay we would have those two targets here those two weeks here breaching to the downside but it's not a problem we would have a channel more or less like a, a, a ending diagonal just because we have we would have this this overlap here okay what wave four uh, invading the territory of wave one and this is what abc remember ending diagonals or a or leading diagonals are patterns of three so we have a one two three one one two three one two three one two three one two three okay it's six trees right one two three 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 okay five six five trees it's a different pattern than we are used to okay but i think that we would see something more like this perhaps turning but we need to wait but eventually if this is true if we don't break right away to the downside um we are gonna see some kind of movement trying to get those targets here 3500 or 3500 and something and then we would go down to those targets here okay this would be the end of this wave c this wave b here which I am calling for a long time this wave B here okay a B C this would be a deeper wave B but it's not a problem okay we see 
a lot of indecision this is the daily chart again we have we see the same pattern here okay the same the same falling edge pattern in this case it's not any diagonal because i'm including all the movement but nevertheless it's a the 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 whole structure is forming a decreasing pattern a falling edge pattern a decreasing in volume and uh, uh, since this wave three here right this ABC here is forming this this pattern here of decreasing in volume decreasing in price action decreasing movement so I expect a movement to the upside okay which would be in in the bears best interest right and in our best interest as well to take a short right the market would uh, keep its symmetry and then we would have more energy to to go to deeper targets to deeper prices here okay perhaps 80 80 70 here I, i'm betting on this target here 20 20k sorry 2k okay we need to wait for the weekly chart to close, of course, to see what's happening, to give us more data. And um, I think I think that I would expect, I, I won't take this short here, unless it's pretty clear for me that we are seeing this somehow. If it goes really high and we see some really huge rejections because I would I would like to see it stopping right here at the 100%, okay? And then going down. That would be pretty awesome. Okay? And I think that that's it for all for that's it for Bitcoin, right? We are all waiting for it. Actually, it's a sideways movement as always it is. It's a bit difficult to decide what to do. But that's it, guys. I, I hope I have helped you guys. And if you like my content, my content, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you haven't joined us yet, please consider doing so. It's our Discord group is the Crypto Trader Educational Institute. We have plenty of information there for free. And follow me on Twitter. The Twitter handle is here, Acumaldo Crypto and in, is in the description as well okay so thank you very much and we see each other next one bye bye cheers